Hi everybody, Tracy here with Pleasant Run Farms Candle and Soap Company and today I'm going to show you how I make my pet raspberry peach macaron soy wax melts. Super excited! So I'm going to uh, make these wax melts in my jumbo size wax melt clamshells. These things are huge. Let me move some things out of the way here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and start melting my soy wax while I talk to you about the mica colorants in the fragrance oil I'm using today. So let me get that started. Okay, so let's talk about the mica color I'm using. I am using Nurture Soap's Atomic Orange Mica. Love this color. It's very a very bright orange. And I am mixing it with cantaloupe from Nurture Soap, which is like a dull peach. And look at that. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? So I'm mixing the two uh, to create a nice peach color, like a freshly, uh, just, a, just a fresh ripe peach, not overly ripe, just ripe peach. It's perfect for the wax melt that I am making today. And then, of course, I am using peach raspberry macaron uh, fragrance from Crafter's Choice, which I picked up at Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm a huge fan of it. And then I am using my jumbo size clamshells. These clamshells hold approximately five and seven eighths um, ounces of soy wax. And I'm going to show you here in a second um, the, the size difference from a standard wax melt that you normally get. And these, the, the size difference is considerable. Look at that. So this is a normal size wax melt that I used to make. And as you can see, they are just about, these are twice the size of the standard wax melt. I mean, the size difference is considerable. Look at that, twice the size. I will tell you, I love these clamshells, but they use a whole lot of soy wax and a whole lot of fragrance. So for your you candle and soap makers out there, just be warned that you will run a lot of fragrance of soy wax in these clamshells. Okay, so let me check on my soy wax. Uh, what I'm using today is the EcoSoya Quantum 220 Soy Wax. Uh, it is a container wax. And the reason I selected to do this was because uh, Quantum 220 has an 18% wax load and that's how you get super strong wax melts is pushing your wax to the limit. And so with this, I can start with 18%. So let me check on my soy wax here. So I have it in the microwave today. Hi everyone, my wax is sitting at 181 degrees. And so now it is time for me to add my ingredients, which are going to be the mica colorant that I mixed. I mixed up some mica. This is a combination of the atomic orange and the cantaloupe. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in here. Now, with micas and wax, and you can only use your micas in soy wax, um, with micas and wax, the, the key to getting it to work with your, the key to getting it to work in your wax is to stir it, stir it, stir it, <laughs> and stir it some more. You want to make sure that the uh, particles don't settle on the bottom of your um, container. And you want to stir it and have them bind when the wax is at its um, melting point, which here is 185 degrees. So let's talk a little bit about my fragrance. The scent notes on my fragrance are uh, ripe raspberries, grape, peach, apricots, with notes of white sugar, almond cream, and vanilla macaron. Um, it's one of my favorites. 
I like the pistachio macaron that Crafters Choice makes. I get also from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And this one is just as awesome. Um, I don't think I will use this in cold process soap. Um, I'm not a fan uh, of offering uh, Gourmand fragrances or bakery fragrances in cold process soap. And so I will probably leave this only for wax melts. Um, and I might do a candle in this. All right, so let's take a look at the fragrance bottle. I wanna talk a little bit about Flashpoint. So if you see on here, it says the Flashpoint for this fragrance is 180. What does that mean? That means that is the point in which the fragrance will start to burn off. So the key to making super strong wax melts is to make sure you avoid the flash point on your fragrance. And every fragrance has a different flash point. Um, like for example, this one here, which was a sample. See that? The flash point is 200 degrees. So every fragrance is different. Okay, so let's look and see what the temperature is now on my wax. It is 163 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead, wait till that gets to 160, and add my fragrance. Now, I have in here 17.5 ounces of Q220 soy wax, and I need to add 18% fragrance oil to it that will give it a super strong fragrance throw, cold and hot. And so um, that's what you see here in this container is my fragrance oils pulled out. Okay, so I'm stirring and let's see what the temperature is, 160. So I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna add my fragrance now. So I'm just gonna pour that right in and that'll cool down the wax a little more. And I'm gonna stir, 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 and stir some more. Now, my wax mold or wax melt containers, my clamshells, the max heat that they can take or the pouring temperature of the wax molds, my clamshells, is 140 degrees. So my wax can't be any hotter than 140 degrees and personally I like to pour at about 135 130 so I'm gonna pause the video because this has quite a ways to go to cool down 143 145 so as that's cooling I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll be back for pouring all right everybody I am back my wax melt my wax has cooled down quite a bit it is sitting at 138 degrees. So I'm gonna stir for another few seconds here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring. So again, remember my particular clamshells, which I get custom made, um, are, uh, they can take wax at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't want it any hotter than that or else you'll get some melting of the plastic. And what that creates is a chemical smell that you really don't want your customers to experience. So I'm okay to pour. So let's go ahead and pour. And you wanna pour slowly. You want it to be even. I like to pour right to the very top. I don't want to see any of the dividers in my wax melt clamshell. I don't want to see any dividers. The other thing um, is that you really do want a level work surface. My floor isn't level. Uh, <laughs> as you can see in the wax melt up here in the corner, I've got some spillage. Uh, that's because my, my floor is not level and I forgot to put my um, riser underneath that. Pour slowly and carefully. And I think I have enough for 
just almost and that would be mine to take home all right so i'm gonna let these cool they'll take about two hours to cool and once they're cool i'll bring you back and we'll take a look at what they look like hard all right everybody i'm back my wax melts have cooled and they are now hard so i'm going to go ahead and package these up i can now put these on to uh, sell them at my craft show or my wholesale show and so <clears throat> what's great about the look at this color isn't that a great color i think the color turned out absolutely beautiful and what's great about these is the size of the wax melt they're huge isn't that pretty Thanks everybody for watching. These wax melts will be available on the website. If you like what you see here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.